everyone, Paige here with Zizzy Soapworks and today I'm going to show you how I make a bubble scoop. So a bubble scoop is kind of a form of a solid bubble bath and at the end of this video I'll demonstrate how you use it. But basically you just break it up and run it under your warm running bath water and it creates these big, fluffy, luxurious bubbles. So if you want to learn how to make a bubble bar or a bubble scoop, please keep watching. created this bubble bar recipe I was looking for something that would dry pretty fast like it'd be ready the next day I mean that was easy to scoop and didn't completely stick to my gloves because that was a big issue with other recipes that I found online and I remember I tried one recipe I can't remember whose it was but it took like two weeks to dry which is like insane to me so I created this recipe it's very quick drying it's easy to mold and it's not as sticky as some other recipes you'll find out there. So first we're gonna do all the dry ingredients and we need baking soda. And we're gonna use 7.7 .7 ounces of this. It's always good to sift it so you don't get clumps of baking soda in your final bar. So I sift all of my dry ingredients. So next is SLSA. And SLSA is a sulfate-free coconut-derived surfactant, and that just helps create a lot of those bubbles. So we're gonna add 2.9 ounces of SLSA. So when you're working with SLSA, it's always good to make sure that you're wearing a respirator. This is the one I have, so just because the particles are can go airborne and it really irritates your lungs. As you can see, SLSA it kind of poofs up everywhere, so you just want to be careful. Next, we're going to do cornstarch, and we're going to do four ounces of this. Okay, right, and after the cornstarch, we're going to do cream of tartar, and we're going to do one ounce of this, and this is just going to help harden the bar. After cream of tartar, we are going to just do a teaspoon of kaolin clay which is just about, um, I'll let you know how many ounces that it ends up being. So it is 0.4 ounces of kaolin clay. And you're just gonna sift this. Now this is all of our dry ingredients, so I'm just gonna give this a light mix with my hands, being very gentle not to poof this up. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna move on to the wet ingredients. Okay, so for wet ingredients, we're gonna do 0.35 ounces of the fragrance oil. Today I'm using um, grapefruit and mint. And then we're gonna do coca, coca mitopropyl betaine. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, we're gonna do two ounces of that. Coco mitopropyl betaine is um, another coconut derived surfactant. It just helps create those bubbles again. All right, and now we need avocado oil or any carrier oil of your choice. I like to use avocado oil, but really you can use anything like olive oil, castor oil if you want. So we're gonna do one ounce of avocado oil. And now vegetable glycerin. For vegetable glycerin, you want to put 1.3 ounces of this. All right, and you can choose to add your colorants, um, whether it be mica or a dye, into either the dry ingredients or the wet ingredients. Um, I'm just gonna stir this up and I'm gonna add my mica in here and I'm just gonna use a pink. So this is Flower Girl Mica from um, Nurture Soap. And I'm adding 0.1 ounces of this. So now you're just gonna dump your wet ingredients into your dry ingredients slowly so it doesn't poof up everywhere. All right, so I put this on my stand mixer and I use the paddle attachment 
And then I'll just mix this up. I start slow so it doesn't, again, poof up in your face. Um, and then you can turn it up as it's mixing. So we'll be right back. All right, so this mixed for like a few minutes. But you know when it's done, when it's like this dough like consistency and you can mold it and see it's not sticking to my hands that much. So this is the perfect consistency. I'm just gonna give it one final like squish. Make sure everything is combined. So I'm just gonna get some parchment paper. I like to use a ice cream scoop. With these, you can also like roll it out and layer them and make it kind of like a Swiss cake roll if you want. Um, I haven't done that actually for a while. I did it when I used a really sticky recipe and it didn't work very well, but I haven't tried that technique with this recipe. What I do is I scoop some in there and I just push it down. And I kind of like when it has like the ruffles on the outside. And then you just scoop it out. Like that. So you're just gonna keep doing that. Scoop some out and kind of squish it in here. Again, I like when it comes out a little bit on the outside because then it really looks like an ice cream scoop. Kind of squish it down there and then scoop it up. Just like that. I usually get about six bars out of this recipe. You can half it if you wanna just try it so you don't waste all the ingredients. If the dough is kind of a, a little bit dry for you, add a tiny, tiny, tiny bit more carrier oil in very small increments at a time. If you add too much glycerin, I have found that's when it takes forever to dry. You can try adding a little glycerin or you can add some more of the cocomidopropyl betaine. That will help, but I find this to be perfect for me and my environment I'm in. It's pretty dry here right now. The amount of bars you get really just depends how you pack it. With these bars, I kind of left a little bit more around the edges, so I'm not gonna get six bars, I'm gonna get like five and a half. So it all depends. I've used one of those cute little mini cookie dough scoops too for these, and they were like little cute single use. Bubble bars, you could do that and like put them in a jar. Um, or again, you could roll it out. So I like doing it this way. I just, I found that kids love these because they look like ice cream. So I have like a little mini one here and I'll use this one for the demo. I'm calling these Grapefruit Mojito. I have a couple other products called Grapefruit Mojito in my collection for the summer. So I am going to Put these cute little paper straws that I cut up in it. I'm gonna see how it looks. I'll do it in this one first. I'll do it in one more and see. Yeah, I think it's cute. And I'm gonna put some glitter on it too. All right, I have this Mad Micah's Fairy Duster and Sparkle Plenty. So I'm just gonna put some glitter on there. All right, so this is the final product. You can kind of see the glitter on it. I'm kind of thinking I should do some kind of like drizzle, like a cocoa butter drizzle. So I will be back once these dry. These will take about 24 hours to dry, maybe less. Usually it doesn't take longer than that. So I'll be back when these dry to show you how they perform in the bathtub. All right, so I'm actually back. I think I am gonna do a cocoa butter drizzle. So I just melted some cocoa butter in the container I was using before and I put some Enchantment Mica in it from Nurture Soap. I'm just gonna drizzle this over the top. All right, so I added that like lime green mica drizzle on the, or yeah, mica cocoa butter drizzle on the top. Thought I just add a, added a little bit more to it. It was looking kind of plain. And since these are a grapefruit mojito, I kind of want to add more green to it to represent the mint. All right, so for the bubble bars, you want to break it into fourths. And um, you want to start the bubble bar right away when you run your water, because the more it agitates, the more bubbles it makes. So we're going to do that now. <laughs>
cleansing a quarter of the bar. If you used half of the bar, you could get like double this amount of bubbles. But yeah, again, this is just using a quarter of the bar. As you can see here, I only used a quarter of it. Um, I also have a pretty small tub. So if you had a bigger tub and had more water to agitate, your bubbles would be 10 times the size. But yeah, that is how our bubble bars work. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell if you want to get notified anytime we upload a video. And thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you have a good one. Bye.